Hi friends, Sam here with Happily Hooked. So today we are reviewing Velvet Yarn. I am so excited to work with these. Um, I've worked with the Bernat before, but not the Lion brand, so I'm really excited to see how they compare to each other. So let's swatch them, wash them up, and see what happens. And make sure you guys do click on the like, subscribe, and the bell if you're on YouTube to make sure you get notifications. All right, so we've got our Velvet Yarns. Um, we've got the Yarnspiration Bernat Velvet and then the Lion Brand Velux. Um, we'll go with the, the Lion Brand first. So this is 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 246 yards, machine wash, lay flat to dry. Um, I will not dry this. I will just wash it. Um, I have dried Velvet Yarn before. It's horrible. Um, <laughs> we won't have anything left. This is a medium four, recommends a 4.5 um, in knitting needles, and then a five millimeter in crochet hooks, 100% polyester, and then this color is marigold. I am obsessed. I'm gonna end up making a slouch beanie out of this just because I love it, this color so much. It'll look so good for fall. And then we have the Bernat Velvet Yarn Inspiration. So this is 10 and a half ounces, um, 300 grams, so it's double the size. Um, of what this is. This is a bulky five, um, recommends a 6.5 millimeter. And then let's see, this is in smoky green. Um, it does, it looks gray. It does have like a green tinge to it. And then care instructions on reverse side of label. I know you can wash this and then don't dry this one as well too. Um, but yeah, so let's swatch them up and and see, I'm using a H crochet hook um, for both of them. I, I This is the one that I normally use when I'm working with the, the Bernat Velvet. I've, I've used this one before um, for beanies and scrunchies and things like that. I just haven't, I haven't been able to get a hold of this one. This one is really soft too. They're, I mean, they both feel the same um, soft wise. So we will, we will see since this one is a medium and this one is a bulky, I'm excited to see the difference. All right, I love how easy that came out. So this is 10 stitches um, wide and then two rows. Um, the stitch definition is really pretty. I love the variation of the color because it's velvet. Um, that's really pretty. All right, so let's try the brunette. That wasn't so bad either. So this is also 10 half double crochets by two rows. Um, it is a little bit bigger, but it is a bulky versus a medium weight. Um, so this feels more like velvet and this feels more like a soft fur. Um, still velvet like, but this is more like a fur type velvet and this is more of like velvet that you would see on um, like pants like kind of like corduroy I guess would be more of the 
the texture of it. So yeah, so let's wash them and and see see what happens with them. All right, so we just got these out of the dryer. Um, I did end up drying them. I know I said I wasn't going to, but you know what, why not? So I dried them, um, they did fine. I have had some velvet come apart when you dry it, so please be careful if you do dry it. Um, or at least dry it multiple times because I don't, I, I dried it at a low temperature just because that's what I normally dry things at. Um, but I will stand by, this is definitely more of a furry velvet, like a like a fur, faux fur type velvet. And this is definitely more of like a corduroy type velvet. Um, I love both of them. I think they both are beautiful, but that is, um, that's my decision. That's what I've, I've come up with. So, um, I love both of them. I think they would both work well for all different types of projects, beanies, scrunchies, um, sweaters, whatever. I, they do stretch quite a bit. So I would watch that when you're, um, making, if you're, if you make like a garment or something, but I mean, other than that, everything, they look really good. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then let me know what yarn you want me to review next. All right, have a good day, guys. Bye.